you know, you start to really sort of think about how you're going to survive. <laughs> so, so especially my three older brothers who were so sort of physical guys and, you know, there was just kind of rough housing. Like for them was always funny. For me, it was like a life threatening situation. So <laughs> you sort of, uh, you sort of learn to kind of get by on, on using your mind, not your fists. So uh, I became kind of hyper perceptive as a kid. And I know that that contributed in, in, in enormous ways to um, the different paths I chose in life, you know, particularly show business and that sort of thing. I was able to kind of constantly mimic people or watch people and look for tiny signs and big signs of, you know, danger. It was tough. I was, yeah, I was a kid. Was, I had a lot of anxiety, a lot of different kind of phobias and issues that I had to had to sort of work through. And, and it took me a long time to kind of recognize those things as assets as opposed to liabilities. I still struggle with those those same things. As challenging as they are, and, and, and you know, they, they're also gifts that come with those things, you know. And, um, it's that same sort of situation where you become kind of incredibly perceptive in ways in which you, you, you otherwise wouldn't, you know. Yeah.